Tesla had initially planned to be manufacturing the Cybertruck by the end of 2021, but it has now been postponed until the end of 2022. Elon Musk announced that Tesla will not be introducing any automobiles in 2022 after speculations that the Cybertruck had been pushed back again. At the earliest, the Cybertruck will arrive in 2023. Supply chain problems that have been plaguing the automobile sector in large numbers were first blamed for the initial delays. For the Cybertruck, Elon Musk stated Tesla couldn't produce enough 4680 battery cells while the steel frame was supposed to require a new casting technique to be constructed. Let's show you all you need to know about this amazing Cybertruck. Meanwhile, Tesla has stated that it would not begin production of the Cybertruck until the Texas Gigafactory started making the new Model Y. Tesla may now focus on preparing the Cybertruck manufacturing, even though this process only began in March 2022. Cybertruck development, according to Elon Musk, should be completed by the end of 2022, so that production may begin in 2023. Later, he said the Cybertruck would come in 2023, although he didn't say exactly when it would occur. However, good luck getting one if you don't have an order in already, with Musk claiming the company has so many orders, it might take three years to get through them all. However, according to a recent story, a smaller version of the truck may be introduced. However, it isn't clear whether it would differ from the original Cybertruck model in any way. Because of these setbacks, as well as the announcement of a new quad motor model, we have no idea when the dual and single motor Cybertrucks will be available. Cybertruck specs and prices were just removed from Tesla's website. However, we still know how much Tesla originally predicted the truck would cost. The single motor Cybertruck, which is believed to be the final model to be produced, will cost $39,990, to the comparison $5,000 less than the lower Model 3. The all-wheel drive dual motor variant was slated to cost $49,990. The original flagship model, the three-motor Cybertruck, will now cost $69,990. Because it never appeared on the Tesla website, the price of the recently revealed quad motor model remains a mystery. Full self-driving is an option that may be added for any of the four models, but it will come at an extra charge. Currently, the bundle costs $12,000, but we expect the Cybertruck to be qualified for the FSD membership, which costs $199 per month. However, given that the price of full self-driving autopilot has increased by $6,000 since July 2019, it is quite possible that more price increases will be implemented in the near future. On several occasions, Elon Musk himself has stated the same thing. The Cybertruck was planned to make a stop in the United Kingdom as well. The truck is presently being manufactured to US specs, according to Musk, but it would be hard to make it appropriate for every country. The price and release date for the UK version of the game remains a mystery. You can't dispute the Cybertruck's remarkable distinctiveness, no matter how you feel about Tesla or its CEO. Tesla CEO Elon Musk feels this is why customers find the vehicle so appealing and have even tweeted about it. Because the Cybertruck looks so much like a 90s version of the future, there's a touch of exaggeration. Nevertheless, he is correct in saying that the vehicle is unlike anything else now being developed in the automobile industry. In terms of the Cybertruck, we need to remember that the design we've seen thus far isn't exactly what will be manufactured. Side mirrors, which are required by law in the US and some other countries, will be included, according to Musk. But Musk has said that those mirrors are made to be easy to take off. If you're planning to acquire a Cybertruck, you may want to verify the laws in your area before getting behind the wheel. With a single blade covering the full front of the vehicle, the Cybertruck's windshield wiper has been cited as well. Tesla's decision to test with a single blade on a windshield is unexpected given the size of the glass. Musk, on the other hand, stated that this specific design is still under consideration. A closer look at this wiper may be seen in recently leaked photographs. There is speculation that the wiper may be extendable, allowing it to cover the entire windshield in one move without being too bulky when it's not in use. In a short wiper summary, Tesla has considered a long wiper, then the mentioned short wiper, and even a no wiper scenario can happen. 
With its stylish non-conformist design comes a new approach to materials. The Cybertruck is no exception. With a steel exoskeleton constructed of 30 times cold rolled stainless steel, Tesla claims to have found the toughest material it could. The naked wheels, although being less aerodynamic, look better. After all, Tesla has already shown off coverings that are blocky and unappealing, no matter how well they fit with the Cybertruck design. When the Cybertruck was initially shown, Tesla CEO Elon Musk made a big deal out of the truck's ability to withstand a sledgehammer and a 9mm pistol. That's a 9mm bullet shot at the door. When a metal ball was thrown at it, the glass on the other hand broke. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> It didn't go through, that's so that's a, that's a plus side. If you're looking for a colour other than shiny silver, the vehicle looks to be available. A former SRE aerodynamic engineer posted a picture of himself at Tesla with a matte black Cybertruck in the backdrop. The Cybertruck would only be available in one colour, must subsequently explain this. To put it another way, it's stainless steel's natural silver colour. Inside the Cybertruck, we haven't seen a great deal. However, early samples reveal that the inside will follow the Tesla formula we've seen in earlier cars, notably the unusually large Model X. Everything on the other hand is much more angular and it befits a vehicle with as many straight edges as the Cybertruck. For six people, there's enough legroom and the steering wheel that resembles that of a Model S and X. As with other Teslas, the dash is simple but with a marble effect instead of a more conventional look. A large screen for the infotainment system takes centre stage. As with Model 3 and Y, this appears to be the only display offering any information. We know for sure that Tesla plans to use the 4680 battery cells in the Cybertruck. The delay in the truck's release is partly due to Tesla's inability to produce enough cells cost-effectively, according to the company's CEO Elon Musk. It's a technical wonder with Tesla claiming that the 4680 batteries give 16% longer range and six times the power of its previous battery cell. They are expected to be less expensive to build, which will be passed on to the customer in the final price of the vehicle. Since electric vehicles tend to be more expensive than their gas-powered counterparts, this would be a major coup. In the same way as automobile ranges vary by model, so does the Cybertruck. Single motor models will have a range of 250 miles, which is the most Elon Musk has allowed Tesla to provide. In contrast, if you go for the dual motor model, you'll get a range of 300 miles. Additionally, the tri-motor model is predicted to have a range of more than 500 miles on a single charge, which is absurd. When Musk revealed that the Model S Plaid would have a range of 500 plus miles, he said it was too much. What this means for the Cybertruck is therefore obscure. Our only information on the quad motor model is that it takes more energy to operate, so we have no idea if its range will be more or smaller than what the tri-motor model is expected to deliver. It is claimed that Tesla's single motor Cybertruck can accelerate from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in less than six seconds. Okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a, this is a current, current edition Porsche. As a truck, it can't really accelerate quickly, therefore Tesla's standards aren't going to apply to this one. However, this just serves to highlight the superiority of the higher-end model's capabilities. Additionally, because the Cybertruck is a truck, it can pull 7,500 pounds with a single motor, 10,000 pounds with two, and 14,000 pounds with the tri-motor variant. In terms of the quad motor version, we have no information at all. Cybertruck's rear wheel steering will allow it to drive diagonally out of tight spaces, much like the GMC Hummer's crab mode. There will be no shortage of power for each wheel in the wheel motor variant, which we anticipate will be an excellent choice for this type of application. There's a lot of potential for the Cybertruck to be a major thing in the electric truck business because Tesla has such a large market share. If you're looking to stand out from the crowd, whether or not you drive a truck, you should consider this because of its unique appearance. The Cybertruck's chances are harmed, however, by the frequent delays. Rivian R1T and GMC Hummer EV are already on the road, 
while the Ford F-150 Lightning is expected to arrive in the near future. There's a case to be made that they don't have the same cloud as Tesla when it comes to things like range and technology. However, the more time the public has to wait for the Tesla Cybertruck, the greater the opportunity for the competitors to narrow the gap. Thanks a lot for watching the video till the end. Be sure to check out our next highlighted video here for you, and we will see you there.